Hi everyone, welcome back again with Cooking with John. Today one of my subscribers requested cornmeal porridge. So I just want to take you guys through a few steps. So here I already have my pot on the stove with about five cups of water. My stove is at medium. And I'm gonna be putting in some spices first. So here over here, I have my vanilla, my almond essence, salt, and this is natural cinnamon that comes off the tree. But you won't get this here. You'd have to go in the West Indies, in Jamaica and other countries that you can get natural stuff off the tree. So this is cinnamon and also cinnamon stick. So I'm going to wash this and I'm going to put it in my pot. So now I'm going to be putting my cinnamon in my pot. And I'm going to be putting, I can't use a lot of salt as you guys already know. So this is about, mm, about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And now I'm going to be putting in some almond essence. About a teaspoon. Of almond essence and I'm gonna be putting in some vanilla because I like to spice up my cornmeal porridge so I'm gonna use about two teaspoon boiled for a little bit and then I'm gonna be adding the cornmeal so stay tuned Welcome back guys, so I'm going to grate some nutmeg into my cornmeal. It's optional if you don't have the nutmeg, it's okay. So about that much nutmeg, about a teaspoon of nutmeg. So now I'm going to mix the cornmeal with some water. I'm going to use cold water. I'm going to use about a cup of water. So now I'm going to mix the cornmeal. I'm going to add some more water to loosen it up a little bit. About this much. So now I'm going to add it to the water that is already boiling. And you have to make sure you stir it up. Because if you don't stir it up, it's going to get lumpy. And you don't want it to be lumpy. You want it to cook properly so look at it see how pretty it looks so I like my cornmeal to be well cooked so I'm gonna let it cook for about 30 minutes and after that I'm gonna show you how I sweeten my cornmeal part look how pretty it looks see so now it's gonna cook for about 30 minutes so I'm going to cover it and I'm going to reduce the heat so I'm going to turn it down to two and let it cook for 30 minutes so stay tuned welcome back again guys we're cooking with John so I have my cornmeal cooking for about 30 minutes so now it's time for me to sweeten it and I have about two teaspoon of coconut milk powder grace coconut milk powder you can use the one from the can 
you can use a fresh coconut that you can blend and juice but today I'm using the coconut powder so it's about two teaspoon in here so I'm gonna mix it Chanel, you don't have to put the coconut milk but I like coconut milk in my cornmeal porridge so and I'm gonna use some condensed milk and this is Mr. Goodes condensed sweetened whitener I'm gonna use about two of this spoon with my milk See how pretty it looks? And while you have it cooking on the stove, you have to check on it. Make sure that it's not too lumpy. And you give it a quick stir while cooking. And I'm gonna add a little bit of carnation milk. Just a little bit, not a lot, because I already have the corn, the coconut milk. So about that. So you sweeten it to your own desire. You can add whatever milk you want to put in there. And I'm gonna taste to see how sweet it is and if not I'm gonna put a little bit of so I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar and as I said you sweeten to your own desire okay it's about two tablespoons of brown sugar And then I'm going to sweeten. Perfect. For me, it's perfect. But for you, it's how sweet you want it. So I said sweeten to your own desire. So I'm going to leave it on the stove on low for about 10 minutes because I put the coconut milk in there so I want the coconut milk to cook in there for a little bit so stay tuned welcome back again guys so here is a finishing product of my cornmeal porridge I have a little bit of nutmeg to garnish and I have a couple pieces of bread so I'm just showing you guys what I'm gonna have with my cornmeal porridge whole wheat bread and you can have this any time of the day you can have it for breakfast you can have it for lunch and guess what you can also have it for your dinner you can have it any time of the day you want very nutritious and it's very very good for you so go ahead check out my video subscribe and share peace and love to you all